now we're in the wormery and i'm gonna film it over here in the corner because over there we have some quite a bit of noise and this video now excuse my phone video type thing um what we're going to do now is we're going to talk a little bit about you know the changes for the channel but mainly the changes for the project which is the seed saving project now one thing i really want to say is without any kind of like um expectations or anything like that i just wanted to give a, a shout out to all those people who have supported this project on patreon your donations have been of value great help thank you so i just want to get that out of the way and just say that because you know you know i don't want to say it too often but i want to say it once in a while just so that you know that i appreciate it you know so that's been very helpful now the way the project is going to work is this first of all um the charity I work for is a very big one and they and I never name them because it's like there's a, a certain kind of there's a certain kind of let's say um, not religious the Hindus basically but more like a spiritual aspect to this whole thing it's also a charity but I don't want to kind of start you know they don't need me kind of you know advertising them that's kind of why I never really mentioned them and my videos has nothing to do with it I'm more I'm more into the kind of charity aspect of things more actually into the seed saving aspect so in case you're wondering why I don't mention them that's why now this charity basically is um, they want to build a university on the land because land is you know not there's a lot of people live here in India and land is not so um, common let's put it that way so especially big areas of land so what they want to do is build a university that means we have to move and I was um, anyway starting to get a little bit fed up with the project because it wasn't really it wasn't working the reason it wasn't working is one reason was that we got a lot of volunteers that was kind of good but the volunteers had to be trained in on a you know within a week they were gone again and I'd have to train them in again and even though that's good I mean it's I'm really happy that I managed to teach uh, people new skills and stuff like that but it wasn't really uh, working for the farm. They made a lot of mistakes, of course. You know, it's normal. It's like you, you don't become a gardener overnight. It's like that, you know. And um, so that was partially the reason why, um, yeah, I kind of um, decided to kind of give up on the whole thing or change it rather. So there was a friend of mine who's also a farmer. He's actually from the charity perspective he's Indian and he's actually in charge of many many farms he's in charge of pretty much all the farms and he has um, about 10 farms anything between one acre and 30 acres and he wants to grow them all organically and he's approached me several times and asked me if I could uh, maybe set up a nursery for him and so I was thinking okay yeah that sounds like a good idea and um, so I decided to set up a nursery for him I said to him here listen this is what we're going to do you want to produce a lot of organic food I'm really cool about, I'm happy about that that's great I want to be part of that whole kind of team if I produce if I make a nursery for you I'll give you the the old varieties you know I'll give you 300 pumpkins so 10,000 plus plants a year uh, 300 pumpkins say you give me then the, the equivalent of 30 so 20% 30 uh, pumpkins back for seed saving purposes we then will process we'll go to your farms and we'll stake out the best ones, disease resistant ones, everybody wins. And that's basically uh, what we came up with. Hence the reason I actually decided to take on this wormery as well. I said to him, here listen, what about if I took on half of this wormery and started creating a thing called Terra Preta, which is a type of worm compost. It's a type of, um, it's probably the best compost you can actually make. It's got charcoal in it. We've already got charcoal powder on the way there, on the go and this is just the normal way they make compost worm compost so you just use cow dung and basically if we make this terra preta we can actually put that terra preta then into the actual little pot for your seedlings and you will have a much better uh, much better crops and in time your soil gets better as well um, also i want to prove to him that this kind of terra preta is the way to go it's much better compost it, it, i tested it against worm compost this stuff and it's about 30%, um, maybe 20, 20% your crops are actually going to be much more, you know, much bigger. So, yes, yeah, so that's the idea. We'll make some compost. We turn that compost then into pots. Those pots go to the, the farms. Um, 
I'm hoping this year now maybe as soon as they build the nursery which may take here in India like six months or more things are a little bit slower here you know so that's why I'm saying and I can't promise you anything because anything may happen I, I've started so many projects here with the idea yeah this is going to be easy to put, implement and boom stones thrown in my way something happens and I'm just like oh my god like every single time I'm trying to do something I'm putting out videos and then I have to either take them down because I don't have results and I hate not putting up results with the videos and I don't want to go into all the drama and the details and I've had a lot of drama recently and <laughs> I'm happy not to have any drama and I like to there's plenty of drama in, in the media and I'm happy not to have any drama in my life or share it on YouTube with other people so that's basically it um, yeah so that pretty much concludes the video. If you have any questions, then yeah, ask away down below. Uh, other than that, that's kind of the plan for now. Um, oh, and there's one more thing as well. We're going to then, we're going to, there's one guy, he, he's actually, he's Indian, and um, I'm working together with one of the projects in the charity, and basically, um, they are trying to set up community gardens. So I asked him if he were to send the seeds, I'll give him a, like a one page, you know, to do how to, save seeds properly, what to look out for, what's the correct uh, quantity that you need, those kind of things. And he then the idea is that he brings us back the seeds, we can then actually use them in our in our pots of plants, they'll go to the farm, they'll come back to us, we'll multiply them, we'll give them then to the community garden as um, the idea is to at least get 50% of all the seeds. And we should be talking about, I mean this farm, these farmers bring in mountains. Oh, sorry, a fly went in my mouth. Basically, these farms bring in mountains of food, so we should be bringing in mountains of seeds as well. And that's, those seeds then, 50% will go to, um, yeah, just, you know, as a gift to those, those community gardens. And there's about 110 or something like that of uh, these, these villages that this charity has adopted. And the plan is to start community gardens and all of them. Um, but, you know, these are big projects, so... And then maybe 10% will go into the seed bank, 10% into the growing of new crops, and about 30% will go into um, fundraising, kind of like selling the seeds in order to actually pay for, you know, the nursery and things like that as well. So that's the plan. What do you think of it? Do you think it's a good idea? Any suggestions? Welcome. Sorry for the long-winded video. It's a very organic video. I just wanted to say it as it is, uh, straight up like that. And yeah, hope to catch you all in the next video.